Hey guys, this is SoFlo Josh and I'm over here today at the Miami International Auto Show 2021 and today we have the all new 2022 Jeep Compass here in the Trail Boss version. So the Jeep Compass is a very popular model of course. It sells a lot, uh, we all know this and it's a very really great uh, compact uh, uh, SUV especially for off-roading capability. It's, it is trail rated by Jeep so you know it's going to be off-road capable. So getting over here to the light system right here as you can see it looks really really nice. It's all LED, fully LED, fully LED uh, daytime running light with your turn signal up there. You do also have LED fog lamps right here. Very nice. I love the way the Jeep always does their trail, uh, trail, uh, trail hawk versions of the vehicle. Uh, you do have vents over here for the cooling of your engine. Remember, this is a turbocharged engine, uh, 2.0 turbo, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in this model. You do get more cooling system down here for your inner cooler. As you can see, you do get the red tow hooks on either side. It looks really nice. I really like this graphic design they have here uh, for the sun glare whenever you're going off-road. And you get, the, of course, the Trailhawk version. Now, if you were to get the 4xe that's sold in Europe, they get the Trailhawk version, you would get this blue. Every single Trailhawk, uh, well, Trailhawk version that has the 4xe technology implemented in it gets the blue accents all throughout, even the tow hooks. Getting onto the side here, you have very nice wheels here, as you can see. Um, they're the typical, you know, Jeep design that we were all known uh, to seeing now uh, everywhere that we go. We do also have, a uh, good thing is that they also offer uh, parking sensors all around. We do have 360 degrees camera for the new Compass as well. And like I mentioned, it is trail rated from Jeep. And I really like this whole entire gray kind of cement gray dark cement gray with the black piano uh roof it looks very very nice very elegant and i really uh enjoy it the compass badge right here and you have black plastic cladding all throughout kind of wish jeep decided to go ahead and do a full design the width of the door where it goes all the way underneath right here because of course when you get out like i'm going to show you right here as you see when you get out of the vehicle and you hit your your foot over here well your clothing hits over here all that dirt picks up onto you uh but personally still not that bad uh getting to the back here completely new uh lighting system over here the previous the preface of the lifted model actually had uh, in, uh individual led parts right here but i really like it of course this is full led so led turn signal led uh, reverse lights and everything that you desire getting into the back over here as you can see it is a regular jeep uh tailgate it, it is powered but of course uh since it was opened it, i you know of course it's not gonna open like that I, I just lifted it up you have your 12 volt right here as well as your button for uh lowering the uh tailgate you also do have your speakers right here and getting over here this is a uh, you can actually flip this over depending on this is actually accessory from Jeep You can flip it over and then getting over here. You have a full-size actually a uh, donut size but well pretty full-size spare Which is pretty good for especially when you're off-roading this vehicle, but overall it looks really really nice I love the way that Jeep has decided to go ahead and do this version of the facelifted uh, Compass as you see over here. You have your uh, trailer tow hooks right here and you got, of course, the regular red tow hook. So getting onto the interior here, uh, of course, it's a regular Jeep. You would know the design. Uh, remember, the first time we ever saw the Compass refresh was actually in uh, Europe. Europe got the first redesign. Well, refresh, actually. Uh, you do have nice Sensatec uh, material up here on the top as well as here in the bottom. Though this part right here is, is hard plastic. Don't understand the reason why they did that. It's kind of weird. Uh, piano black over here, nice door handle. Really like the way it looks. It kind of gives me a premium feeling of you know, the new Grand Cherokee L that they have. You also have your window switches here, typical uh, Jeep fa uh, fashion design. So getting into the interior here. It looks very, very nice, uh, very well done. I like this whole entire new touchscreen display. As you see, it's all lit up since 1941. We all know Jeep has been here since 1941. And you get a full-on digital instrument cluster. I kind of wish, it looks a little too squinty when you see it in person. Kind of wish it was a little bit elongated uh, upward, upward, of course. But very nice steering, kind of plugged from the uh, 
all new Grand Cherokee L. As you see, the Jeep badge is no longer, you know, huge letterings. It's now just a small one enclosed in a uh, format over here. A uh, shifter right here, typical. It's actually from the, the pre-facelifted model. You do have all your switch gears there. Very nice materials, very premium feeling for a Jeep. And I really like that you have your rock, sand, snow, and auto, and no, as well as your pull-on for the emergency parking brake. Getting over here to the center console. It's pretty, it's pretty deep somewhat. There's a little bit, there's no lighting in there. There's no charging ports at all in there. All your charging ports you will find right here. And they do give you USB type C right here and a USB as well. Getting over here, it is uh, damped, but not lined with felt for your glove box. But overall it looks really nice. And I really like this, this uh, material they're using up here. It's very, very nice. I kind of wish they carried this material to the door uh, I feel like they kind of missed the mark on that, but overall, I really like the way that looks. You do also have your wireless charging over here on this specific model, and let's go ahead and get onto the get into the rear of the all new Compass. So, getting into the rear here, as you can see, um, you know, hard plastic right here, glossy black material, right? You know, same exact door handle. It's nice, soft padded. The same exact material we find up front is right here. Uh, though this is a little bit harder. I don't really like that typically. You do have your uh, bottle holder right here for uh, all your drinks, the kids that you have. And getting into the interior here. So in the back seat, they changed the design of uh, right here. It's pretty cool. USB type C and USB, as well as your, uh, you know, regular home charger right there and you also do have a 12 volt right there pretty cool you do have uh pockets right here i'm so sorry for the lighting there's really not that much lighting in here uh so i'm just letting you guys know right now it kind of sucks but uh overall it looks very nice you do have your panoramic sunroofs right here uh pretty good uh adequate amount of lighting coming into the cabin getting to the middle here you do have two cup holders which is pretty cool but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, your regular compass and it, it, it fits. It's really nicely done. Really, all the materials feel nice. And I'm, I'm really pleased with the way that Jeep has made this new uh, facelifted compass. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe onto the channel. I'll be seeing you guys uh, in other videos I'm going to be posting. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.